Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And this is a follow-up on a video I did uh, a day or so ago talking about they all fall down when I was talking about uh, some of the uh, deplorable, wicked statues all around the world that were being uh, toppled by uh, protesters. Well, this is a, a follow-up video because something very significant, at least to me, is very significant has happened. There are, or was a statue in Washington, D.C. of a Confederate general named uh, Albert Pike. Uh, the significance of the, the, the statue is that it was the only um, Confederate general who had a statue in D.C. because, of course, the Confederate Army lost. So why would you put a statue of a uh, defeated uh, Confederate general in the capital of the United States? Well, you would do that because Albert Pike was not just any ordinary general. Albert Pike was a uh, high-level Freemason very high, uh, 33rd degree, maybe high, who knows. Uh, to me, he seemed to be uh, steeped in occultism uh, to the point that <clears throat> he was able to uh, codify, uh, I, I, and this happened after he got out, uh, after the, the Civil War, and I guess he, you know, went back to public life. Uh, I said he spoke several languages and, you know, was well-versed, well-traveled, uh, that he was able to go in and, and codify Freemasonry for the, uh, I think the Scottish Rite, York Rite, and some other, who knows, maybe more uh, of the Freemason lodges or whatever, and, and codify in a book called Morals and Dogma. Now, of course, people in Freemason try to downplay the significance of what he did because in, in, in it, in that book, Morals and Dogma, he talks about that the ultimately the, 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 the deity that the people in Freemason to worship is Lucifer. They try to downplay that part, but I mean, it's, it's no doubt that anyone that's in Freemasonry, they've read that book. They have to know that uh, Freemasonry is is uh, worshippers of Lucifer, the worshippers of knowledge, the illuminated one. So to me, uh, what happened, um, and it could have been a day or it could have been yesterday. I think it was uh, maybe uh, last night. I'm not sure, but what happened was they they're still doing the protest in D.C. And uh, what happened was the they. Uh, protesters tied ropes around the statue of Albert Pike and pulled it down. <clears throat> As I seen the video, pulled it down, came cr crashing down to the ground. Then they took lighter fluid and set it on fire. And I'm I'm here to tell you, just like I stated in the, the video I did, they all come, all come fall down. <clears throat> this is this is a not just a sim, uh, to me a symbolism. This his statue was a high place to those that are in the, the Freemasonry and in the secret societies. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. This is a symbol for the elite. And so I got to believe, I know, I know about their, uh, their um, <clears throat> worship of the Phoenix, where, the, the, you know, the Phoenix come crashing down and out of the ashes. It, it um it rises back up. I understand that, but even to this point, I gotta believe that this is of Yah for this to come down. Even if they have something to do with it, even if they believe, okay, we're gonna crash down the, all the, the 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 old symbols of the new world or, or the new world order because the new world order is not new. Everybody knows it. We want to crash that and we want to come back with something new. Just the fact that this is a a high level individual. And they're not going to overnight 
discard the, the morals and dogmas of Albert Pike. They're not going to do that. So to me, pulling down a this is a significant thing in the in the spiritual realm and in the fact that to me it's signal to all those that say that they're in these secret societies like Freemasonry, uh, Scottish Rite, Prince Hall Masons, fraternities, skulls and bones, and all this. That the pulling down of this uh, statue to me should let you know that it is time for you to stop playing games with Yah when He said. Nothing is done in the dark that will not be brought to light uh, and, and let you know that it's time for you to come out of these high places. Yah is pulling down the high places. And Leviticus 26 and 30 says this, I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your altars, or excuse me, of your idols. And my soul shall abhor you. So Yah is pulling down these statues of these leaders and, and innovators of these wicked uh, systems and letting all those that support them and all those that uphold them know that not only is he going to pull down these images, which Yah is literally happen, which are actually high places, but you say he's going to cast your carcass uh, upon these images. He, and he's going to abhor your soul. Yah is letting, you know, letting our people know. All those that call themselves black people. All themselves that call themselves Hebrews or whoever you are. Whatever title you call yourself. It's time to come out of this stuff. It's time to come out of all of these secret societies. It's a little bit of uh, things talking about. God, but the rest of it, <clears throat> you got to be honest with yourself. Know that it is tending toward the new world order. It's saying that there, uh, we we are going to we are going to circumvent what uh, Yah said because remember, Satan he wanted to build a he want he wants to build a kingdom of his unholy um, teachings and unholy um, uh, unholy uh, standards upon this earth he wants to he wants everyone to be uh, baptized into the the uh, mystery of iniquity he wants everyone to be baptized into that but right now he only had the uh, those in the secret societies. So I guess in a way also they could, could to be to them me. Okay, we're gonna topple this down because now everybody knows the mystery of iniquity. So it's no longer that we hold this. That could be it. But I'm I'm actually believing. I wanna I wanna believe that Yah is saying no. I'm pulling down these idols. I'm pulling down these idols. To show all you that are in these societies that are in, in these things, it's time to come out of them. There is nothing secret that has not been revealed over the last, I guess, uh, uh, 50, 40 years. A lot of the, the, the understandings of the secret societies, Freemasonry, Bilderbergs, all this stuff has been revealed anyway. It's not a secret no more anyway. The only thing secret is when you're going to do the evil that you do. But everybody pretty much know that these groups do evil. They know this. It's not no secret anymore. It's time to come out of this. It's only, it's, it's only a secret to those that's in it that it's, that it's evil. Because they say, okay, well, look what the good it does. Well, it, it does good because right now this earth is being ruled by Satan and Satan, um, Satan is only right now letting things go forth that make him look good. So he, that's why he 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 allowed the the secret societies and all those to be able to do charitable things and all these things because he he wants him he wants to transform himself into an angel of light, and so. He, he he uses these groups 
He uses people that might come in them with well-meaningness, but when they get in there, they find out a certain darkness. But once they make certain oaths and and pledges and stuff, they can't go back on those things unless they, you know, they say they that their tongues would be cut out and all this other kind of stuff. So I'm telling you, y'all, saying enough is enough. I'm bringing these high places down. I'm bringing these images down. Because if you go to Numbers, if you go to Numbers 22 and 41, this is talking about Balaam. And it came to pass on the morrow that Balak took Balaam and brought him up unto the high places of Baal, that thence he might see the utmost part of the people. Now, when uh, Balak, King Balak wanted Balaam, the, the, the uh, prophet, to, to curse Israel, he brought him up to the high places of Baal. He brought him to one of the temples of Baal so that he could look out upon Israel and curse Israel. I'm here to let you know that people that are in these high places, that we're in these different skull and bones, they look at us as Israel and they have been cursing us. They have been cursing us in their high places. I've heard and I really do believe it that in every city, wherever the highest place at in th that city is, that they usually have an altar or some kind of place where these people do sacrifice or they have these orgies or whatever to keep the the the, the uh, a power or grip over that city. And you can bet you believe that if that's the case and you look at most of the urban centers where uh, blacks are and there's great poverty and, and crime and everything that in these high places these people are praying curses as they look down upon the different uh, uh, high, uh, skyscrapers where they're at and they point their hand toward the area where most of the black people live like maybe in the south side of Chicago or wherever it is in Chicago where the black people at and pray that there will be death and destruction in there because in this particular scripture, that's what Balak was trying to get Balaam to do. He was trying to get him to curse Israel from the high places, right? Then um, if you look, uh, okay, okay. If you look at 1 Kings 2 and 3 and 2, this says it's only the people sacrificed in high places because there was no house built unto the name of the master to those days, right? The reason I'm reading this is because this is one of the reasons why Solomon wanted to hurry up and build the temple because in, in the beginning of Solomon's empire, he was trying to fall out to the most high, right? He was trying to do that, but he understood that because the people didn't have one central location, they had all these different high places that they were going to offer their sacrifices unto the most high Yah. Now, some of them places, high places that they were offering were, they were actually offering to the most high, but then some of those sacrifices they were actually offering to other deities. So Solomon wanted to have one uh, high place that they would go to. He wanted to have one place that they go to, and that was the temple, so that they could get rid of the high places, so that there would be no, no need for the high places, for you to go to the high places. Therefore, if they found any high places, they can destroy them. So I'm telling you right now, if you are part of these secret societies, why are you going to the high places? Yeshua already said that he is the temple. He said, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. We do not have to go to the temple anymore. We do not have to go to the high places anymore. We can go to Yeshua. We can go to him because there is no other way to the father but through Yeshua who says, I am, I am the door. I am the temple. I am the sacrifice. I am the high priest. If you looked at the, 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 the tabernacle in the, in the uh, 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 t t temple in, in the Old Testament, 
Now there is no need for that. Yeshua is all of that wrapped up in the one, right? And so there, there is no need for these high places. There is no need for these statues of these, these free Freemasons and skulls and bones. And there is no need for you to be going to the highest places of different cities and 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 and, and, and invoking blessings or cursings or whatever. It's time for the high places to come down. It's time for them all to fall down. And I'm I'm telling you, there's a significance to this. All of you that are in Freemasonry and, and these fraternities and sororities and you're making O's, you're making blood O's, you're getting branded. All this stuff is not of the Most High Yah. And he's showing you. I'm telling you, this is not the end. It's going to be more. It's going to be more statues that's going to be coming down. Remember what happened when the Philistines took the Ark of the Covenant and they brought it into the uh, house of their God, Dagon, and the Bible said that his hands fell off and then he, different parts of his body of the, of the idol stopped falling off. The, the spirit of Most High Yah is moving across the land now. You can see that these people out here that's doing all this, they are the Most High Yah. They are doing the will of the Most High. They are doing his will. They don't have to remember. Uh, Yah can use whoever he wants. He can use whoever he wants, right? And so these high places, right, are being brought down just like uh, here we, we, we read, right? Like here. Uh, where is it? Secretly did a thing with it. Okay. So first Kings, second Kings 17 and 19, it said, and the children of Israel did secretly those things which were not right against the master their Elohim. And they built them high places in all their cities for the tower of the watch from the tower of the watchman to the fence city. See what I'm saying? They secretly did these things. So this is, again, letting you that are into these secret societies and stuff know that this is not of the most high. He said they did wickedly. They did wickedly because there's a lot of cold technology in, in, in everything that different people are getting mixed up into, right? And so... I'm, I'm just letting you know, now is the time. This is the signal for the Most High Yah to, to say, now is the time for you to, you to come out. Now is the time. And, you know, I know some of you probably saying, well, you know, we got preachers up in there. We got bishops and stuff up in there. The Bible said, don't follow a multitude to do sin, right? He said to him to, that knows to do good and don't do it, to him it is sin. This is what Second Kings... Uh, 18 and 4 says, right? And I think this is talking about King uh, uh, Joash. I'm not sure, but it says, He removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groves and break in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense unto and called it Nehu, Nehustah. Nehustah. And I think this is King Joash, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. I'm going to go to it. 2 Kings 18 and 4. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 2 Kings 18 and 4. Because I think it was. And he was, he, was a, he was a great king that did a lot of reform in Israel. In, uh, not just in Israel. Okay. Um. Okay, no, this is uh, Hezekiah. I know Joash did the same thing, but in this case, it says it was Hezekiah. Yeah, okay, this is eight, Second Kings 18, 1. It came to pass in the third year of Hosea, king of Eli, son of Eli, king of Israel, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign. And he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Abai, the daughter of Zechariah, 
And he did that which was right in the sight of the master according to all that David his father did. Yeah. And this this was Hez this was the King Hezekiah. Yeah, it sure was. So he yeah, he, he was trying to reform the people. He 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 was breaking down all these high places again. This to show you that this stuff is, is not of the most high Yah. It, it is not. And so again, like I said, this is just the beginning to me. I'm believing that the next statue that's going to come down is that wicked statue of Cecil Rhodes. The the, the man that uh, pretty much uh, en enslaved all Southern Africa. Uh, at one time he had a, a, a country named after him called Rhodesia. And uh, now it's called Zimbabwe once they got gained their freedom. But this man was totally wicked. He was totally wicked. You know, pretty much, you know, uh, um, uh, took all that money and um, set up the Rhodes Scholar Scholarship. Um, you know, he was responsible for a lot of death and destruction on the continent. And right now there's crowds in, um, in Oxford, England that are calling for his statue to be brought down. They got, actually got a... a they actually got a, 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 a some some like a fence or something around it to try to protect it, but I'm praying that that's the next one, and I'm praying that y'all just continue to do this. And this is this is not gonna stop, brothers. The next the next thing is gonna be nations. Y'all is gonna start bringing down nations because ultimately the the um, the the, the the scriptures in the second chapter of Daniel deal with the actual nations that are going to be. But one of the things that we know that is happening, that we know that things is getting ready to get drastic. As he said that in, in, the, in the second chapter of Daniel, when he talked about the iron and the clay that was mingled together, he said that they will start pulling apart at one time. And that's what we're seeing right now that we, if, if a lot of us, you know, could if they lifted the flight restrictions, travel restrictions, and we could get passports, a lot of us would leave today to get away from this this place. Now I'm not gonna just run in without being consulting y'all, but I'm telling you, it's on my mind that you know it, it is time to separate because even though they're pulling down the statues and everything, uh, uh like I said, ultimately, uh. America has made over 500 treaties with different, you know, uh, groups in this this nation, and they pretty much have broken every one. So I wouldn't think that this was going to last. And again, if you remember uh, one of my videos, I, I stated that if this thing is going to go according to the pattern of Egypt, that uh, even after uh, uh, Pharaoh allowed the the uh, 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 or whether Yah had, you know moved on Pharaoh to let the people go that uh afterward he he regretted it and, and that that's when they came after uh Israel. So um again you know all that is has nothing to do with the fact that us who um <clears throat> or rather those of you that know that you are dealing with this these secret societies, Freemasonry, and the Knights of Columbus, all these other groups that it's time to come out of this stuff. It's come, the Bible said come out because if the eyes is bringing a judgment upon our oppressors, his judgment is going to fall on anybody, anything that's doing evil. So you got to come out. You got to leave it alone. And you got to ask the Most High Yah, now is the time. When his power is moving all across the earth to smash and to uh, tread under and, and, and to uh, uh, let, let the, the, the enemy, uh, Satan, and his, his minions know that it, it, is, it is, is almost that time. So I want you to, uh, uh, when you look at this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up. I want you to uh, leave a comment and I want you to subscribe. All right. Be blessed.